All right, it's uh, 12 minutes before 9 o'clock. Eight out of nine provinces in South Africa were declared disaster areas in 2016, and that is due to the ongoing drought. South Africa receives just half of the world's average rainfall each year, which means that every drop of water counts. Let's continue the journey of water as we started last week and find out more about the threats to our water sources. The Mabola Protected Environment is in a strategic water source area, generating critical water supplies for agricultural, industrial and human use. The area is now under threat from mining activities. But further down the catchment area, bad agricultural and livestock farming practices also poses a threat. These northern Natal soils are also inherently susceptible to soil erosion and impacts negatively on downstream water quality. What you're seeing here is terrible erosion on the landscape and that has a severe effect on the water quality for various reasons. Firstly, when the topsoil gets washed away, it obviously contains minerals and it contains nutrients and the nutrients have an effect on the water quality in the rivers when it gets washed down. Secondly, there's this thing called turbidity. That means that when the water gets washed into the, and when the soil gets washed into the water, it reduces the ability of light to penetrate the water. And all the um, aquatic uh, primary producers, things like algae and plants, if that light, they require that light to, uh, to survive. And they form the basis of the ecosystems in the water. So if they can't get enough light, there's not enough, not en enough energy entering the water. And that then affects the whole ecosystem within the freshwater ecosystem. Um, finally, if you look over here, there's a huge volume of soil that's been washed away. All that soil has to go somewhere. It goes firstly into the rivers and progressively it gets washed down and eventually ends up in our dams. And as you can imagine, those dams start to fill up and fill up and fill up with soil and silt. That means that there's less water that for us to use. And that means that when you get down to kind of 20% of the, the bottom 20% of the dam, essentially it's just soil and, and a thick, muddy mixture that's really difficult to use. So it really affects our, our water resources too. Everyone that depends on the water source has a role to play, from the catchment area to users downstream like livestock farmers. Pinecone Piggery Farm has reduced its water usage by half by introducing more efficient, modern methods in the piggery. They also stop the slurry from finding its way into the rivers by keeping it in holding dams and turning it into useful compost that is sold to local farms. The Groot Dry Weir in the Pongola River provides sustained water flow to sugarcane farmers downstream. It was built in the 1930s and still services about 17,000 hectares of irrigation and 330,000 domestic users. The irrigation scheme consists of 240 kilometers of canal network. Pangola is, a, is, a, is an area that hasn't got underground water. The fuel sources that there are is very brackish. And so we are solely dependent on the river system of the Pongola and just so also on the health of the river system even upstream. So that is very important for us. And that is also our involvement in the total catchment to ensure water security for the future and care of the environment. With so many depending on the water from the Pongola River, everything possible must be done to prevent pollution and other threats to this life-giving source. Linky Beerman for Morning Live on the Journey of Water.